guys, I feel like my camera's kind of out of focus or something. Okay, at least you guys can see me, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start by saying welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title, it is finally the Hello Kitty haul. I'm super happy that I'm finally doing this. And yes, I did redecorate the back, my background. I mean, the back, you know, as you guys recently, I showed you guys the empty walls, the kid down there, all the Halloween stuff. So I'm almost done decorating. I just need more likes, more, I feel like I need more likes and more, um, what's called those leaf, garland, garland leaves, falling leaves. Yeah. So as soon as I can order from Amazon, then then I'll be ready to show you guys probably the last week will be the week I will show you guys my Halloween room tour, you know, which I do it every year. So I'm super excited. Oh, let me just tell you guys what I got on. So I have on this thrifted t-shirt from a place called Phillips Farm. And then this beanie is from this year for sure. I bought it. It's like Hello Kitty Halloween beanie with the witchy one with an orange bow. Uh, I don't. I don't have. I didn't buy. So sad. I didn't buy any Hello Kitty Halloween shirts. So I thought this would just match with the entire outfit since it's you know they have some orange on there. So you know orange and purple is my favorite color. And I just paired it with um, my old Hot Topic Jack Lantern cat, black hat, earrings. Now this earrings honestly is pretty heavy. So just letting you guys know. I'm not sure they still have these this year. It's been out for a while, but it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and I just put on some orange eyeshadow, some my regular lipstick shade, which is perfectly feels like a fall makeup, you know, and match it with my DIY bracelets, um, purple and orange. So I thought it would be good to go with this outfit. Okay, so by the way, let's get started. Um, so I have a lot to say about Hello Kitty this year. This year it's been so, so hard. It's been wild. <laughs> Because I heard people was going crazy for Hello Kitty stuff. And then I started seeing Hello Kitty everywhere, like in every store, you know. I noticed that there's more Hello Kitty stuff out this year, you know. Um, you know, Halloween, fall, Christmas, you know, yeah. Um, but I was really sad because I noticed that when I watch other YouTubers, I noticed that other states, you know, other area, other places... Um, not in California, you know, they have tons of Hello Kitty stuff. So, so lucky. Like, I feel like stuff, I barely find any Hello Kitty stuff in California, especially around the seasonal time because it's always sold out or someone take them all or resell up, you know, take them all. Or I'm just guessing, you guys. I'm just guessing. And based on what I, you know, see on YouTube, um, a lot of people think it's a reseller and a lot of people think that some people are buying too much. I'm not here to judge anyone. I just think that I'm just, you know, telling you guys what I've been through, like what I see going on. Because when I go to the store from the beginning of Halloween, I haven't seen much Hello Kitty stuff, like the stuff that I actually want, like you know, and and also all this haul is the Hello Kitty mostly is just mugs, plates, and stuff like that. It's not really a lot of you know other stuff. Like I have two backpacks. And one plushies that I will show you guys in my haul, but I just include it in here because it's Hello Kitty, you know, Halloween stuff. And then, yeah, um, I only found maybe probably one or two or three items that was on my list, you know. There was some stuff that was still missing. I didn't find the plushies, Hello Kitty mummy, or the skeleton ones, you know. Um, it was so hard to find, especially the Frankenstein stuff. Like, I was looking for the Frankenstein mug. I didn't find it anywhere. I was looking for the Frankenstein plushies. I didn't see it anywhere, anywhere else. But I keep finding, I keep seeing other people, you know, like found it at their store, you know, which is nowhere in California, I think. But it's okay. I told myself that I there will always be next year. And if I don't get it, it is what it is. Unless if I have to get it from resellers, because I did check out the resellers, you know, reseller um, price and some of them are way too high unless they have a fair price and I will buy them or get them you know but we'll see I honestly don't know but those are was like two three items that I really wanted I didn't find it from Hello Kitty I will say it was really hard really 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 hard this year to shop for Hello Kitty stuff it did kind of stress me out a little bit but because I was so sad from the beginning of the video and beginning of the you know hunting video like Halloween hunting I wanted 
I go almost every week now. Some people go every day, some people go every other day, but for me, I can only go to every once a week. So I go every week for almost to Home Goods, and I don't see any Halloween Hello Kitty beside the mugs, a little bit of the mugs and the plates and stuff like that, like the kitchen, the kitchenware stuff, you know. Okay, that's enough talking. I'm talking numb straight, you know, ram, ram, from the rambling. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start off with all the mugs. And I'll tell you how much I, I will tell you where I get it from. So like this one, it was from Home Goods. No, actually, yeah, it's from Home Goods. I think most of the mugs I got from, I mean, I bought from was from Home Goods. It's like a polka dot Hello Kitty. Um, and one thing I love about this mug because it's different is polka dots. It have the stripe because I love stripes and polka dots as well. And I love the the inside because it's orange. And this is five ninety nine. So yeah. And it's not micro, it's micro is big. So, next one is this one. Also from Home Goods. It's also $5.99. It's both sides. It's Hello Kitty with the Crescent Moon. I just love the Hello Kitty in a cat costumes. I thought it was super cute. You know, I love black cats. So, it was perfect with the little ghosty super super cute and it's all black so it's not a you know it's perfect for coffee if you're not really a big coffee drinker or maybe tea it's not too it's like an, it's a nice small size it's not really too small or too big and then the next one i'm gonna show you guys is this one now this one was on my list so i gladly i found it you know so like I said, I wanted the plushy Hello Kitty that looks just like this. They have it, but you know it's not in store. So you guys might have to buy from the reseller. Like I said, the price was overpriced, and unless if there's a fair price, and I will get them. So this one, I love this um, mug because it's six ninety nine. This is from TJ Maxx. It's because anything that is safe, like microwave safe, I love having that just in case I just want to microwave it, you know, and didn't feel like reheating it or, um, in a in another cup or something so you just put it in the microwave and you know heat your reheat your coffee so oh yeah and then also it's you know both sides so that's a good thing next one is the same design like the other one but it's it's just like a glassware a glass one it's a glass tumbler yeah that's what it's called with the lid and a little glass straw so which i love on both sides again super cute and i really really wanted a shirt because i do saw a lot of other websites that have a shirt like this but i just never somehow didn't get a chance to buy it and decided not to get it and i thought maybe just wait till next year you know so because since i already bought a lot of stuff and then here's the other mug. This one's similar to the other one. This is from Home Goods as well. This is oh the sticker cover. So I don't know if you can microwave this or not. It's six six ninety nine, so it's seven bucks. Once again, both sides is simple design. This one is more like a, a fall, a fall Hello Kitty mug. It is, they have a little glitter on the pumpkin. So I just love everything about this How Because, you know, guys, I love fall sweets. <laughs> so they have pumpkin spice or just pumpkin coffee, pumpkin with whipped cream here. Little glittery on all the other pumpkins. Pumpkin pie. In the back, say hello kitty. Super duper cute. And, of course, I love it when it's orange inside. So, yeah, it's $5.99 for this one. So it looks like this one you can't put in the microwave and yeah so move on to the next one of course you guys already seen this one i bought it from war market it's a trick-or-treat with a witchy hat super cute and then the bottom so this was pretty pricey because it is from war market um it's just like 19.99 it's like 20 dollars you guys so Honestly, when I picked it up, I was so surprised. Oh, look, it matches matches my beanie. <laughs> I was surprised because, honestly, I didn't know it was $20. I thought it was $14.99 for some reason. Um, Well, I'm going to pick it up anyway because it was the only one there. It was too cute not to take it, and I think it's worth it, honestly. 
And is it microwave safe? I don't know. Um, I can't read it because it is a sticker right here, so I can't tell you guys. And the good thing, like I said, both sides, they have they have in both sides. So yeah. Okay, so next one is the one little tumbler. Of course, the plastic tumbler. This one, I like. I don't know, I like doing this. You guys already know when I first um, this was like my first purchase of Halloween, Halloween Hello Kitty tumbler. This is my first one, and I ordered from what's that place called again? I can't remember. Cracker Barrel. There we go. So this is the first one, and it's only eight bucks. So yeah, this is where I ordered from, and you guys already seen it in one of the haul, like probably my first or second haul when I started doing the halloween haul you know and i think that is all of the mug i'm trying to make sure that that's everything um yeah so oh wait i do have one more okay so this one is on my list i forgot and the reason why i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you guys something so just a little warning okay because this is my first experience i never have a mug issue like you know from hot topic and stuff when i order from them it never broke or break anything um so as you guys can see this is this is the one i was hunting for let me just take it out carefully because it is broken i was so heartbroken it was super cute i bought this from tj maxx and i want to show you guys something so a little warning this was one of my Mug, the mug that I've been hunting for. So this is the second item that was on my wish list that I found. But I didn't find it in the store. I found it from the website, I mean online. So I purchased it online and I did not know that the way they, you know, package thing is really not the right way. So as you see, the only thing they gave me was this bubble wrap, thin bubble wrap, and this and in a really spacious box you know like a medium sized box and it was like moving around in there so i was really disappointed um i loved this so much you know um i decided not to return it because i've been wanting this mug for so long and i already know if i go in the store by the time i want to return it get another one they wouldn't there's not gonna be another her <laughs> in the store so i decided just keep her so the good news is that um the whole body is still here, you guys. It's just the handle and all the tiny pieces is still in the plastic bag. So I can always glue them together, but I cannot hold it anymore. I just have to hold it like this, but I can't hold the handle, you know. So yeah, so that's a bummer. And this was only, honestly, I have no idea how much this was. But I think before when I picked up the, the pink one, I found a pink one at Marshall's. And it was like $12.99, probably around that. I know it's under $15. It was like $12 or $13. Bucks. So yeah, she is so cute, and sadly, that's what happened. Um, I mean, I, I did see other videos of TJ Maxx and stuff, but I didn't know that it was that serious. <laughs> that people actually really probably just don't know how to properly wrap it, or they just don't care, honestly. I don't know, but I'm kind of sad, you know. I just wish people really actually care and have a little heart, you know, or uh, just think of it like if I was to work somewhere, I pack someone's stuff and I want my stuff to be, you know, packed properly as well. Um, and I would do that for them because, you know, you're spending your money and, but, but that's that, you know, it is what it is. But okay, so moving on. I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff. So now we're moving on to like the bows and the plates. So here's another one that was on my list. Now these three, I've been wanting them so bad. I keep looking at people YouTube video and they have these. And, and then I found someone that was, that I watched. And I think he's from California as well. And he found them at Home Goods, And, you know, um, I, every time I, go to the I go to two home goods I always go to every week I try to go switch back and forth but I can never find them and I really think that someone probably buy them all you know when it when they probably call it in and buy them all when it first comes out you know um but luckily I did buy it from reseller for a fair price she was super nice and 
yeah so really i only paid like maybe i think 10 no like 15 to 20 dollar i think it was 20 dollar extra um that's it um because these plates are, are like 10 dollars each you know but of course you know these and tax and all that stuff but i'm really happy with mine so i just want to show you guys what it is so as you can see there's the mummy one these are called the melamine I honestly don't know how to pronounce it. Is it the melamine or is it the melamine plate? And there's the mummy one. And like I said, it's so, so hard to find any Frankenstein of Hello Kitty, like the mugs, the plushies. You know, it's super hard to find it. Each one is $10, as you can see. These are from Home Goods because I can tell by the price tag, it's still on there. Um, and, oh my gosh, it's so loud. And then, of course, the skeleton ones. Let me just show you guys up close. And these are pretty big, okay? Look at the size of my head. <laughs> you can tell it's big. Um, I love them so much. I was super, super happy. She wrapped it really nicely. And yeah, she was... I'm so... I'm glad I found a nice reseller <laughs> um, for a fair price. So, so that's that. That was on my list as well. So I'm glad I picked them up from my reseller. Um... Honestly, I don't like buying from reseller, but there's sometimes when you want something so bad or if something is on your list and at the moment while people are still getting them, I try to find the one that have, because I know people, you know, recently buy them and they list it really fast and I try to find the one that have, at the moment, I try to find the one that have a fair price, you know, um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, now moving on, I'm going to show you guys all my bows. And then we'll move on to the the backpacks, yeah. So the first one, I found this one. The first one is a Hello Kitty bow, five ninety nine. Of course, this is from Home Goods as well. It says you can microwave mic microwave this one, but it can get hot in the microwave, and that's what it says on there. I love how it's just a simple Hello Kitty flying on a broom with her little witchy outfit. And then you can see the sides right here. Yeah, so cute. And okay, that's that. Oops, five ninety nine for this one. I'm trying to be careful, you guys, because I don't want to end up breaking them, you know. Okay, so then I found these. Let me just show you guys all three of these. It's like little bowl container. That you can take with you on a picnic or at work or whatever so i found three three of them um so all three of these are from different days i think yeah let me just show you the smallest one first is this one super cute this is hand painted as you guys can see so i love how it's like it's all designed all around the bow is $6.99. It's dishwasher and microwave safe. So yeah, so that's the first one. Here's the medium size. It's just simple Hello Kitty all orange, wearing orange bows and a jack-o'-lantern all over. Yeah, so then it's the same one. It's $7.99 for this one. And uh, and I'm pretty sure it's microwave safe as well. Because they all look the same. And here's the same. I mean, this one's similar to this one. But it's just this one is bigger and this is $9.99, $10. And then they have the crescent moon, the black cat, added with the stars. So yeah, and the bats and spider and the ghosties. <laughs> the more I rotate, I see, see, you know, all of them. So yeah, so that's that. And then, oh, and then I found this one. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm getting really hot because it is pretty hot today. Um this one is a hello kitty little bow i'm not sure if it's dishwasher safe but i'm pretty sure it is because it feels a little heavy it's just a tiny little bow it's like um hello kitty with her little jack-o-lantern bucket pail bucket or whatever you want to call it with candy cane candy cane i keep saying candy cane candy with candies <laughs> wearing her little candy corn outfit there we go and then I love the design. You know, my my camera's kind of blurry, but you guys can see it, right? Yeah. 
This one is four ninety nine, so it's five dollars. And then here we have uh, the soup bowl. This one I found it from Ross for nine ninety nine, and of course I'm pretty sure it's microwave safe. And we have a is it is a ceramic mug and spoon set. So we have all this pumpkin spice uh, treats. You know he's wearing a simple cute little outfit there. And then they have the little spoon that comes with it, with the little pumpkin. And I think there's a bow on top, yeah. But yeah, I love how all these are both sides, like you now they all have both sides. Like designs all in both, around it, you know. Okay, so here's another one. So this one I ordered online from TJ Maxx. It's... Thank God that this one didn't crack or break or anything. It's not broken. Like, it's it's safe. Like, they didn't pack it well, but somehow it survived <laughs> from the box. So, yeah. So, I ordered this one and the, you know, the Hello Kitty Fuzzin Mug from TJ Maxx. So, super cute. Another witchy one. It looks just like this one, kind of. Oh, yeah, it comes with a chopstick. Here's the, it says Hello Kitty on there, I think. And then, let's see, I think the last, I think the last one is this big old giant, what do you call this, um, call this one? Sorry, I have like this all over. This thing where you mix stuff and bake, so basically it's like a bakeware stuff, right? Um, I bought it because I don't bake. I don't know how to cook. Um, the only reason I bought it because I feel like this would be perfect for like mixing in a salad. Because even though it looks like, you know, you can use, even though it's for like mixing stuff, but I think I'm using this for mixing salads and stuff, you know. Or you can eat out of this big bowl. <laughs> or you can put something in here like, you know, popcorns and chips. I mean, you know, it, it's a bowl, you guys. At the end of the day, you can put whatever you want on there. And um, only bought one because it's really it is pretty big, so I don't have a lot of space. So it's so so cute. I love it so much. You know, it's a mummy Hello Kitty, and this one is like fourteen ninety nine, so it's kind of pricey. And of course, and it says dishwasher and microwave safe, so I guess you can microwave this big old thing. But I don't think I would do that. <laughs> it's too big. I don't think I would put this in the microwave. Um, yeah, so. And I just love all the bats all around it. That is, so yeah, so I think majority of the stuff is all mostly from home goods. Because I've been, like I said, I've been going there like almost every week, I think. Back when they started, when I started doing the Halloween hunting, when they started putting out the Halloween stuff. Um, so moving on. So this stuff, I... So three more items that I'm going to show you guys is going to be the stuff that I bought kind of quite a while, like a while back, around maybe June, July, August, around there. So as you guys know, well, this one, it, well, this one comes with the Cracker Barrel um, tumbler that I can show you guys right here. This one, it came from the same, you know, I ordered from Cracker Barrel, so it comes with um, the same day as that. Um, I already showed you guys this one when I did the Cracker Barrel haul. So yeah, so this is the Hello Kitty plushie, and I think this is the only Hello Kitty plushies that I bought for this year, I think. And I think she wasn't she wasn't that expensive at all because she's pretty small. And yeah, so so next one is my two backpacks that I bought for this year, and yes, I did bought them quite a while back. Like I said, it's probably around I would say. Is that a July or August? Maybe not June, maybe July or August around there. Um, from Hot Topic. And well, one of them is from Hot Topic. The other backpack is not from Hot Topic. It's actually from a reseller. Yes, because I bought it from one of the websites, but I don't remember what it called. I just I completely forgot it because like I said, it's been a while. Um oh yes, I bought this one from I think it's Macari. Yeah, Macari. So one of the backpack I bought from Macari. But let me just show you guys the one from Hot Topic first. So when Hot Topic... 
I saw this one. It's still in the bag. I never did take it out. Let me just show it to you guys. So this one is so cute. How cute is this? It's so, so adorable. It's got the purple tie, purple and orange bowl. It's so cute. It first came out, when it first came out um, from Hot Topic, I knew I have to get it. It was only $34.90. Yeah, so it was like $35. So I bought it online and yeah. And then as you can see, you can, when you do this, it just kind of like go up, but it feels super soft. Let me just show you guys. I will say one thing, like the head is pretty big, like it's huge. Like look at my head and, and hello kitty head. <laughs> I don't know, it's so funny, but at the same time it's cute. So then there's the tail, do I have a tail? Oh yeah, there's a tail. Oh, I didn't know the tail is kind of quite long. Um, Yeah, so love it, love it. And then last one is my favorite one. And I think I have, oops, I think she just dropped. I mean, I dropped her. I think the last one is my favorite bag of all. I think out of all the Hello Kitty bag, this is one of my favorite bag. And I, and the reason I, why I bought it from, and it is kind of pricey. It is pricey, you guys. I think I spent like almost $100 on this bag because it was worth it to me. It got all the characters in there. It's, I think this is my favorite bag, my favorite Hello Kitty plus Sanrio bag compared to all the other Halloween Hello Kitty bag that I have seen. So. Hold on. And I didn't know they had this bag right here. You guys gotta tell me this is not cute. It's like a they are in a pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, right? And if you look closely, they have Pachaco, they have Kurumi, my, my Melody, Batsmooth. Is it Batsman or Batsmooth? I forgot it's been so long. And then Hello Kitty, and then my uh no, who is this one? Cinnamon Row. There we go. They even have the twins. I forgot their name, but oh, there you go. Hello, my Hello Kitty friend, the guy right here. And then there's um, what's his name again? Do you notice his name? Pom Pom Perrine. Pom Pom Perrine. Perrine. And then oh wait, is this Hello Kitty stickers? Oh yeah, and she also gave me some stickers as well. And then at the back, they have the twin fairies. They look so cute. I forgot their name, but yeah, they look super cute. And you can see like this strap right here. The backpack strap is embroidered. They have like lollipop, like candies and stuff like that. Um, It's super cute. And yeah, it have the whole character. I forgot like, so this is originally from Box Lunch. Yeah, from Box Lunch. And it said it was $79.90. But yes, of course, you know, it's from a reseller. So of course it's gonna, for me, it's gonna be like almost a hundred bucks. But here's the sticker that she gave me. And I have to say this person is really, really sweet. She's so, so sweet. When I, she gave me the sweetest note, she gave me some gift as well. I forgot, oh yes, it comes with a socks, I think. She got me, I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. I put it somewhere, but she, she gave me like a free socks, you know, like Hello Kitty stock, the socks. Um, I think it was a pair of socks or maybe I think it was a pair of socks. I'm not sure. I think it's two pairs or one pair. I honestly don't remember. But it's somewhere. Wait, did I put it in the backpack? Because sometimes I forget things. So I told myself I'm going to put it in the backpack. Inside the backpack. Well, let's see if I did. Maybe I might be right. And I'm right. Look, you guys. I knew that one day I'm going to show it to you guys. And I, yeah, she gave me this, these socks and a bunch of. Um, it says, I hope you enjoy this free gift. And that is her name from the shop. It's, it's a, you can't really see it called Essekins. I don't know. It's really hard. It's from Akari if you guys want to find her. Um, yeah, she's a very nice person. She gave me some free more, more stickers. And let me just, hold on. I can't really see. Here we go. So she gave me more than a pair. So there's two, one, two, three, four, five pairs of socks. Yeah, so here's the twins one. Super cute. And there's the Batsmoo. And then there's Hello Kitty with the pumpkins. And then there's the, the Chaco. Oh, he's cute. 
Honestly, I didn't really go through the socks, and this is the first time probably going through it with you guys. Oh, wow, they have my Melgi wearing the orange and Kirtami wearing the purple one. So, yeah, so total one, two, three, four, yeah, five, five pairs. So, she that was awesome. She's awesome. And then there's the stickers. Do you guys want to see the stickers? I'm just going to show you guys real fast. So, here's this one, and here's that one, Cinnamon Row. It's my Melgi. And then Kudami, the chaco, I think this is cute right here. And then this is the uh, this Hello Kitty with presents. And then more of the twins. So yeah, she's awesome for that. So, And that's the reason why I, I kept things sometimes inside the backpack, to be honest with you. Because I know myself that sometimes I forget things a lot, you know. But yeah, pretty sad, but it's true. But yeah, so this is the last one that I just showed you guys. So yes, this is my favorite one out of all the Hello Kitty spooky backpack. I think this is my most favorite because I don't know what year that it came out. I think it was 2023, if I'm wrong. Let me check. They have the tag here. It's from... It doesn't say in over here, so I honestly don't know. But I had a feeling this was around 2023 or 2024 last year don't know but yeah and other than and not only that it's like like a little ghosty on the sides you know um so yeah i love this bag so much so this that definitely my favorite bag from the sanrio and plus hello kitty halloween backpack yes i i know that they have a lot of hello kitty backpack coming out as well like the halloween ones if you guys type it like search online you will see a lot from different places like maybe loungefly or other websites you know um yeah so that's that's all my hello kitty halloween haul i mean everything that i bought from this year i like i said you know um from the list i didn't get the the frankenstein plushies or the frankenstein mug that i'm looking for didn't get the Hello Kitty skeleton plushies that I'm looking for. Um, yeah, but there was a, some stuff that I, I didn't dare to get. Like, I didn't get any Hello Kitty Halloween shirts this year. But hopefully, I'll get it next year. Um, but I'm not rushing, you guys. There will always be, like I said, there will always be next year. So, But I am happy and grateful for what I have here now. And looking forward for more next year to see what they have for next year. But, you know, if you guys want to check out other Halloween, like, you know, Hello Kitty backpack, you guys can always look it up and it will pop up to, like, random places, you know, from random places. And you will see all the Hello Kitty stuff, you know, everywhere. Because um, right now, as you guys know, everyone is, like, going crazy for the Halloween stuff. Halloween, Hello Kitty. Not just even Halloween, just, like, you know, the seasonal Hello Kitty stuff. So um yeah that's it for this haul i'm super glad i did this haul and by the way i probably gonna i would try my best to do a makeup look today tonight since i have my makeup on so i'm probably gonna do some kind of makeup look so if i do you guys if you guys check out my instagram you guys will see it later on tonight i might post it really really late or if not you guys can always check it tomorrow you know if i if it's too late i might not post it until tomorrow you know because by the time you paint and you put your makeup on again and stuff like that it takes a while and then i have to edit the video so hopefully i would challenge myself to do it tonight um yeah and then there will also be next will be um more haul coming to you guys like i said i will still have my nightmare before christmas haul and then next we will go through all my halloween I'm excited because I want to show you guys all my Halloween bags, you know, Halloween lounge fly bags plus other bags as well. So we'll have the another haul for the bags. And yeah, and then from there, you probably will see me go to other stores, you know, um, still going to a store for walkthrough. There's another store that I still want to go to. And of course, I'm excited for Pumpkin Patch coming. I can't wait to go to Pumpkin Patch. I am planning to go a little bit later, you know, kind of close to like the last week of October because I have so much other things to do so but I am excited um to go there and take you guys with me so yeah um but thank you for watching you guys um I will see you guys in my next video bye guys